they're off for the Group 1 Vertone Futurity Trophy and despite being edgy in the stalls, Captain Veers were on the extreme right, got away well and a marked difference of opinion here with the O'Brien pair and Frankie de Torre tracking towards the near side running rail on the extreme left and it's Salt Lake City who leads uh, the two towards the near side with Epictatus, Frankie the White Jacket and Ryan Moore sitting last of that trio aboard Auguste Roda at the end of a couple of furlongs. Meanwhile, the nose banded Storm Bus leads them on the far side to Dancing Magic with the orange cap and then King of Steel in a violet jacket. Holloway Boy held up in the first time visor, the red and white silks, uh, just waiting in the wings. And on the extreme right, Captain Vizba with his flashy white face. So split by the width of the track here, they move to halfway in the Vertem Futurity. On the left, it's Salt Lake City, slipstream by Epic Tatus. Ryan Moore sitting in behind, sitting at Frankie's quarters aboard Auguste Road. Down. The far side cluster just beginning to fan out a little. Still the nose banded storm busted a dancing magic. Captain Vershba ridden along. Holloway Boy breezing into it in the headgear. And Holloway Boy is the first to commit outside the two. He's kicked on here. Now Ryan Moore sends Auguste Roda on the left out after him. So Holloway Boy just beginning to wander off a true line. Wants a bit of company. Auguste Roda on the near side ahead of it. Pictators. Holloway Boy drifted right across to the near side side but he can't match Orkus Roda who's beginning to forge clear he's opening up Epictetus chasing but it's Orkus Roda chiseling out a gritty success and it's a record-breaking win in the race for Aiden O'Brien Orkus Roda sees off Epictetus Holloway boy back in third bunching in behind King of Steel involved with dancing magic captain Birchberg Salt Lake City weakened away and so too Storm Buster